You know, Clinton, we've been focusing on how to ride your bike slowly. And last week we were talking about feathering the clutch and finding the sweet spot and then using a little bit of the rear brake just to sort of load up the bike and make yes. it feel more stable. But there are a couple of more pieces to this equation, right? Yeah, I'd love to help you with that. If you have got your speed controlled by slipping the clutch, and if it gets away on you, as you said, a little bit of rear brake, mm -hmm. the other half of it is counterbalancing and using your eyes properly. Okay. We believe that if a bike's leaned over, it'll tur turn a sharper corner than if it's straight up and down. Right. But at slow speed, it's hard to lean over and keep your feet up. Easy to do when you're doing 60K through a corner, but yeah, when you're going slow, the last thing you want to do is have that feeling of leaning the bike over. That's when we all try to dab our foot. Exactly, and the dangerous part of that is you could have an injury just from riding with your foot down. Right. And if your right foot is down, you might be motivated to use the front brake, which is really too powerful to use at slow speed. Let's not go using the front brake when we're riding slow. No. Okay. So the secret is, if I'm leaning this direction, my butt should be off the seat on what's the high side of the bike. So I would counterbalance. Okay. Now the bike can lean over. I don't have to put my foot down because I'm hanging off the high side. Mm -hmm. And it helps the eyes because I'm already in almost a position of looking where I want to go. We've all heard that, you go where you look. Yeah. But in truth, you should put your chin on your shoulder and look almost like you're in your car and you're looking through the driver's door window. Sometimes I do that for a really tight turn. Mm -hmm. So we've got our clutch where we want it to control our speed, little rear brake if necessary. We counterbalance our weight to the high side of the bike and our eyes are looking left if we want to go left. Right. That's the four components that really help slow speed control. But with practice with a buddy in a parking lot, do progressively tighter slow speed circles mm -hmm. until you can almost ride full lock. That is good riding. Then in the mall parking lot with all the traffic and the 90 degree turns and pedestrians, you should have the confidence to ride through there in control. Excellent. Well, that's just some terrific advice. Excellent. Want to go out and do some practicing? Absolutely. Love to go around. Awesome.